So in this video, I'm going to talk about pun and squares as well as test crosses. So to begin with, let's first talk about what a pun and square is. And so a pun and square was actually invented by an early 20th century English geneticist named Reginald Punnett. And so as you can see down here, there are two Punnett squares. And a Punnett square is essentially a simple graphical way of discovering all of the potential combinations of genotypes that can occur in the offspring. And so a Punnett square is set up so that one parent's genotype is on top and one parent's genotype is on the left. And so you should probably get used to Punnett squares because they're really important in genetics and you'll see them a lot. So now let's talk about what test crosses are. And so a test cross determines the genotype of an individual that is dominant for a trait. And so in this example here, purple is the dominant phenotype. And so the flower here, the purple flower, you don't know what the exact phenotype of the purple flower is. So it could either be homozygous dominant or heterozygous. Both will give you a purple flower phenotype. So the purpose of this test cross is to determine if the individual with the dominant phenotype, in this case it's a purple flower, it's to determine if the flower is homozygous dominant or heterozygous. So it's crossing it with a recessive phenotype. So you know it has to be two lowercase p's. So you know the phenotype of the recessive individual in order to determine the exact genotype of the dominant individual. So pretty much to summarize, you have a purple flower here with an unknown genotype. And you want to determine if it's homozygous dominant or heterozygous. And so to do this, you're going to mate it with a homozygous recessive individual. In this case, it's the white flower. So if you draw out the pun and squares, you can see that if the purple flower that was unknown, or its genotype was unknown, if it was homozygous dominant, you would have all purple flowers. So that would be that case because all of the flowers would be heterozygous. Now on the other hand, if this purple flower was heterozygous when crossed with a homozygous recessive, after drawing out the pun and squares, you can see right here that you would get half white flowers and half purple flowers. And so it's really important to remember that you can only really determine the genotype of an unknown individual with a dominant phenotype by looking at the offspring. And so if the offspring, as in this example, if the offspring are all the same, that means that the unknown individual that you are test crossing is going to be homozygous dominant. Now on the other hand, if the offspring are split half and half, so in this case half white, half purple, that means that the individual with the unknown phenotype is going to be heterozygous. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.